Hi everybody! I'm about to get started on a 15 minute mini session. I'm going to go ahead and read the client goals and get started here. Okay. Alright, so the client says, I want to connect with my higher self and any other healing energies, entities, as I emerge from a very long and relapsing dark night of the soul. And I have absolute trust that whom or whatever you connect to will be exactly what is needed. Hmm. I want to do more of these sessions as I connect with more abundance. Thank you so much, Abby Fabulous. I'm super excited to take this next step with you and to share it on YouTube as it may prove helpful for others. <laughs> that is so sweet. Thank you. All right, let me, let me just absorb some more of these details. Connect with your higher self, any other healing energies, entities. <sighs> Emerging from a very long and relapsing dark night of the soul. Okay. <laughs> All right. I'm going to go ahead and relax now and get connected. Boy, this is a very interesting introduction. I'm going upward, but I'm going, there's a, a flat surface, a wall, and I'm, I'm really close to skimming the surface of this wall, but I'm skimming it by going upward, and I'm, I look like a bumblebee, and also I have eyebrows, and my eyebrows are, I don't know if this is red paint, is it blood? I'm not sure, but that's what I'm seeing right now. Boy, I will tell you what, we're going to have to break down some serious walls here. Okay, so you're doing everything right, and um, you're on your way. So we're going to keep going up vibrationally, all right? But we're going to crack down some walls. So as you go up vibrationally, you're more well-rounded vibrationally <laughs> as you go up vibrationally. So we're going to crack down some walls here. All right. This is no easy task. And... As I'm working on breaking down this wall in particular, I can tell there's layers of walls in either direction. And I also can tell that as you go up, it also seems like you're going in place. So, so it's kind of like, let's say you're in a completely black, dark void. If you keep going in any direction, it's going to look like you're just moving in the same place because you can't see anything around you in order to create change. So am I actually going anywhere or am I just going in place? So the, I just see the exact same scene and it appears as though you're going upward, but it also feels like you're going upward, um, but yet you're still staying in the same place. They keep saying, though, that you're going in the right direction. You're going in the right direction. You're going in the right direction. They, they really do keep saying this. You must also have a lot of self, uh, like positive self-talk because it, it just keeps echoing. You go, you're doing everything right. You're going in the right direction. You're going in the right direction. Um, so we're going to go with that. I really do feel that you are going in the right direction. Um, I'm going to help you expand the experience of going in the right direction. <laughs> okay. Okay, this is a bit of a literally what feels like a crack. Um, and it's all about struggle and what am I doing wrong kind of feelings. And it's it literally, it's like a crack in the Liberty Bell. And it's a loud crack. And, um, and it's like a devastation, a feeling of devastation and what am I doing wrong. All the while, um, you're doing everything right. You're doing everything right. And so uh, it's a little strange because we've got friction here. Are you doing everything right? Yes, I'm doing everything right. Um, how come nothing is working? You know, <laughs> so what is what is it? What is the this end result here? What is the end result? That crack in the Liberty Bell was a very good thing because it, it, it's it's like um, opening you up, having a an emotional extremely emotional, well-deserved emotions, um, 
but releasing those, like cracking the dam and the floodgates now are released, but this creates movement. So sometimes when we have that snap moment, when we're so positive through everything, that just one day it's just like, we just crack. But just even for just a day and we just ball our eyes out and the next day we still feel cruddy and and we just wonder if 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 I, and anybody cares does anybody care about what i'm going through i swear to god i'm talking to you people in the spirit realm but nothing's changing <laughs> i'm doing everything right i'm staying positive how come you know? <laughs> so that's actually opening the flood like we're just releasing the floodgates and it gives you more room um for growth and expansion and that's that's a healing vent that's a very big healing vent I know even right now it feels like we're moving in place because we're just kind of going in circles, reiterating the same thing, but I can feel that we're making progress. We're making progress. And as I say that a lot of energy in your mental body starts to go, it just actually gets sent down and it's, it's being sent into your heart. And, uh, Again, another response here, and it feels like this. It feels like, e ew, I don't know, <laughs> kind of like that. It's just kind of like moving back and forth. I don't know, kind of feeling. But this is good. This is like an ultimate teardrop or drop of water, and it just go boom, <laughs> splashes into the heart. But it feels good. And I tell that part of you that's rocking, I say, it's good. This is good. And on the seventh day, God said, this is good. <laughs> that is how good this is. It's very nurturing for this part of you to hear that. Boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. This is again the walls here that I'm looking at. And it's layers like uh, shells, but really thick and dense rock layers. But they're actually, believe it or not, th lots of thin shells, like eggshells. But they feel as thick as rocks, like not easy to break through. And it's a bit stagnant as in, I mean, we should be just moving and grooving. But it's like, eh, eh, eh. Like, every step is just sort of like a a step and then a step and then another step <laughs> so it's kind of like that instead of just like whoosh yay we're off for the races this is one step then another <laughs> it's kind of what it's like right now i am working on breaking this down as fast as i can all right okay now this image, it's a bit cored out so I can actually see all the shell layers. And I see you inside of it. And this is where the teardrop went. And this is about your heart. And I see you inside here. You look, you look like um, hmm, olive oil from Popeye, but not necessarily. There's something olive oil about the way that you're kind of standing and kind of like awkward or clumsy. She's kind of clumsy. Yeah. That's because her feet are too big. That's just, I think olive oil had really big feet. And she wore like a flower dress with like, uh, like Back Hills uh, Country Hick boots. She had really big feet. And this woman here is wearing a creamy white uh, dress with yellow flowers. And why? It, and she doesn't have a lot of room to move about, so she's just sort of standing still. And it's sort of like she's waiting. Waiting and waiting. But I also don't feel necessarily the drain of time. But she is waiting. Should she be waiting? I don't know where else she's going to go. There's one door behind her, but it feels like that's just going to take her into a kitchen. It's sort of just like a little cutout of the inside of a cute little house with some little wallpaper. and. But I can see uh, an oval shape with all these layers. 
I don't feel like she's supposed to go through that door, though. I'm going to ask her. I'm going to say, you know, I've been, I've been watching you. And I saw that you're standing in this place. You don't have a lot of room to move about. And there's quite a lot of layers going on here. Did you know about that? What do you think about going through that door that's behind you? She says that, uh, please tell me I've made it. Please tell me that I can just be right here and that's the finish line. Please tell me that. And I, I say the most annoying thing possible, which is, it's not about the destination. It's about the journey. <laughs> The one thing is like, when you really want to get to the destination, the last thing you want to hear is that it's not about the destination. But I, I am supposed to say that, so I'm telling her that, which is a reflection of you. But she's a good listener, and she's willing to process this idea. She's a very good listener. And she's really, she's wise. I mean, she's a good listener, and she is wise. And is it wisdom that creates a good listener? Because being a good listener is how you pick up on clues in order to figure out the next step, which is what's happening here. So this olive oil version of yourself is actually listening and she's choosing to process this as, okay, so I'm not at the destination. And, and she's actually all right with me defining it as that. And I feel for her that the, the actual, any type of destination for you is so far into the distant future, but there's so many awesome steps in the process. Like we can't discredit these steps because I feel like even the next step is the next destination to the next step, which is the next destination to the next step. We don't want life to feel that way though, do we? We, we want the next destination to be like 300 miles and we've got the Ferrari race car and we're going to be there right now. You know, we're going to be there, but this is like snail pace. Um, and I got to enjoy the next step and the next step is going as slow as a snail. It's, it's like, I want to be to some cool new place already in my life. I'm going to ask your higher self, what does your higher self have to say related to this experience of very slow, but sure movement from t to get to the next experience, the next experience, the next experience, because I can't force this to just bam, it, it's time. You can't force it to just crack and say that yet. Um, crack entirely, like get the layers out of here. Let me see what your higher self says. <clears throat> your higher self says give her more room um, to walk. But this is interesting because my higher self says, okay, we can do that. And I create a fork in the road. So where you're standing, I create two pathways. And I ask you, which pathway do you choose? <laughs> Let's see what happens. Now you're sort of like, oh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't really have anything to base the next choice on. I mean, if I go that direction, I really don't know what I'm walking into. I don't know what I'm walking into over there. So I just really don't know. And I said, what if you stopped trying to make sense or overthinking? things? What if you just went for it? Like, what if you just became a runner like Forrest Gump and you just kept going without thinking too much, without trying to figure it out? Forrest Gump did not try to figure anything out. He just kind of did the next thing or the next thing just fall into place. And he just kind of kept going with it. And he became a hero, like an extraordinary person that we all look up to, this Forrest Gump guy. And there's something about this too that you need to explore for yourself as well. How can you just flow with it? Flow with it. And I'm trying to get you to choose to run. Just just pick one. Pick one. One or two. Um, door number one. Door number two. Which one? Which one? Um, go. Pick one. Pick one. You're like, oh, well. Uh. I'm like trying to get you to run. Run, 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 run. Go, 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 go. You can do it. You can just pick one. Pick one. And you just not, I can't get you, I can't get you to run yet. <laughs> See, if I could get you to run, that means that you're ready to run in life. But this uh, means that you need the time to really think things through. So I enter into your body.
body and um, I'm going to help you move forward. All right. And we just pick the just this first pathway. We just pick one because it doesn't and it, all lo roads lead to Rome. So no matter what you choose, it's always going to lead you to exactly where you need to be. It always will, no matter what you choose. I have to remind myself of this too sometimes. It's really easy to say, not always easy to do. But I have to remind myself too. And so we just sometimes you just have to make a choice. It will always be the right one. Always. So you actually just exhale and say, okay, I'm just I'm just gonna trust in this advice. No matter which pathway I choose, it's always the right one. And you do, you instantaneously relax. I mean, you instantaneously relax and you clear your mind and you just choose to take a step and, and it's not like one step, then another step, it's like walking. You don't think about how to walk, you just walk. So, so perhaps there's something to this. If you're thinking about every step in life, it's like thinking about how to even go on a walk. Well, I got to put this foot in front of that foot and then I got to put that foot in front of this foot and then I just do that again and then it can, but we don't think of how to walk. We just do it. Um, so if we could use that um, on how to live life, if we don't think about how to live life. We just do it and we'll be more like Forrest Gump. <laughs> And then everything's great, right? <laughs> Forrest Gump had a hard life too, but he went for it, you know? There's something um, beautiful about that. And you are. You are you're, you're actually relaxing in your own body, in your own souls. I mean, you're, you, the, in, is, the message is that you're relaxing in your own souls. And it's the soles of your shoes. So, like, you're relaxing your own soul. I mean, the, you are, though. You're very much so relaxed. And you're not thinking about how to take the steps. You're actually just moving. Gosh, is this ever lovely. I feel like I could take a lovely walk with you. It feels like uh, motion. Now, this is what we're talking about. This is what we're talking about. The crack of the dam and the water is rushing through. This is fluid motion. This is forward progress. And we discover that this first pathway becomes a boardwalk and it's really pretty and there's water on either side. And we come to a new sort of platform with other pathways and it's all across water. I mean, they're like, like pathways over water. And this time there's three and you just pick one and you don't try to decide really if it's going to be the best one or not. Um, you just pick one and you choose the center pathway this time. But this is a bit strange. I'm going to stick with this for just a few more minutes. But um, so you take the center pathway and you start to look ahead and all you see are pathways and pathways and pathways over water. And you wonder where is it that you're actually going and... Um, like where are these pathways actually taking you just to more pathways just to even more pathways but you're not getting into anywhere new it's they're just boardwalks over water and that's actually a daunting uh, reality for you because they're just pathways leading you to more of the same pathways leading you to just more of the same pathways now we understand this bumblebee that is it seems to be flying upward but it's just still flying in place this is, this is, there's something to this message here. Let, let, I want to break the spell, you know? What is, what is creating this effect? All right, I'm going to immediately. And I'm telling you about kids. Kids just keep going. They don't try to make sense of the path. Forrest Gump just keeps going. He doesn't worry about how many um, more boardwalks um, there are in front of him. There could be 50 miles of boardwalks, but guess what? The more that you look at how many there are yet, um, the longer it's going to take to get there. If you just keep moving and trust that these are actually taking you to where you need to go, it, you're going to be there in no time. It's just, it's when you start focusing on the, every little thing that it's just, it takes so much longer. Time actually expands. You could turn a day into a year if you want to. So the message is, again, just keep moving. Just keep moving and don't worry about it. 
And they show me that things will speed up for you when you just keep making choices. Even if it feels like you're just going into more of the same stuff, don't worry, don't look at it that way. Look at it as a totally new experience. And, and then it can transform into that. It has to be looked at as a new experience. And then even if it seems like, ah, oh, man, it's going to take forever for me to get to a new thing. Um, don't say that because you actually have some strange influential power to put turn a day into a year. And um, when you say that, there's some very, you, you, there's some vulnerability here related to that. So just, just say, man, I'm going to be there in no time. I'm already there. I'm already in that experience. And, and if it needs to appear that I have 10,000 more boardwalks to walk through, I'm cool with it because I don't. Because it was always just one pathway to begin with. It wasn't confusing multiple pathways to just pick one and crap, now I'm just out here in the middle of the ocean, more boardwalks, where am I going and when will I ever get there? Don't look at it like that. I mean, that that's the next thing. I'm just going to touch your heart here and shine light into it. You are supposed to know that you're doing everything right and you are going in the right direction. That is one of the biggest things that they want you to know that. And you need to feel comfortable with that in your heart. And to, to try to transform the way that you're embracing life. And, and think of Forrest Gump as your idol. How could I be more like Forrest Gump? Um, and allow yourself to like feel like you're him sometimes. Life is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. But embrace it and just see what happens. But don't worry about it. Don't worry about the process of it. Just move through it freely and joyfully and inspiring other people without even knowing how you're doing it. But you're doing it, you know? So that's, that's what I meant to share with you today. Thank you so much for this beautiful opportunity to work with your soul. And I do hope that we get to connect again in the future. Um, and for those of you watching, if, if any of you are interested in exploring a psychic session with me, please visit me at my website at abbynormalswisdomquest.com. I hope you all have a great day.